This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're taking a look at a, uh, an application aimed at young children, although it's not quite like any other uh, educational app aimed at that market that we've seen thus far. This is called Create My Own Flashcards, and it's actually quite a bit different than any of the apps that we're used to seeing. This is not an ebook or any kind of mini game. It's actually a uh, you know a whole beast onto itself, and we're really kind of uh, you know enthused by this. We think it's a great way uh, to teach your infants. Actually, is who this is aimed at: very very small children, infants, and babies. If there's a difference between the two, and uh, that's who this is aimed at. So we're gonna go ahead and show you just how this works. But this application is available for 99 cents in the App Store. So if you're a parent who feels like this is the perfect application. Uh, for your child, then go ahead and jump on this. It's not going to uh, break the bank to give it a test drive, and it's actually quite good. So we're going to go ahead and show you how this works. The basic idea is that your child hits play, and then is presented with a custom flashcard that you have created. This is my cat uh, wrapped in a towel. And then uh, you also have the custom text along the bottom explaining what it is. To hear your own voice, you can go, cat, and then hear it. All of this has been created by you, the user, or in this case, me. And uh, can be customized to, to no end. We've only created one card for the purpose of this review, uh, but these would be slid through. Which means we're going to go ahead and get a uh, new card going so we can show that better. And we get to show you how the app works. Like we said, all of this can be customized. And we do have the parent lock here, which is a nice little touch. This does keep your uh, child from going in here and messing with all of this stuff themselves. So we're just going to slide this down and then hit new card. It's extremely simple to do this. Uh, you simply go to either the uh, camera on the iPhone or you go to the photo album, which is what we're going to do here because we're in a dark room. Then we're going to scroll through my photos and find um, something worth uh, going with here. Okay, so we're just going to call this Notebook. Here we go. So there you go, there's two out of three steps required. I simply loaded a photo, I typed in the text, and then the last the, uh, notch in the chink here Notebook. So I say that. Notebook. And then you test it, and then you're done. It is that easy. So with all of these, you can easily create a ton of flashcards for your child. What's the point of all this, you might be saying? Well, sorry, there is one more step. You hit save, and then you're done. Uh, no, I guess not. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so the uh, you might be asking, what's the point of this? Um, essentially, the idea is that this really helps with language acquisition in children. Um, the way you learn a language is pretty specific. You're, uh, you know, you're interacting with things uh, all throughout this developmental stage, and you're shown things like this, which you understand intuitively to be a fuzzy black thing, but you don't know the word for it. So this reinforces the fact that this is a cat, and mostly this is done through this. Cat. The audible sounds that your child hears. This is embedded into their brains. Uh, even though they can't reproduce it themselves, they are absorbing this. And then likewise, the uh, words at the bottom, this isn't so much retained, but at the same time, it is excellent to have that there. All of this is just superb. Where, uh, you know, first stages of language, ac language acquisition are concerned. Even better, you know, the idea here too is that you can take photos of things that your baby is around constantly in their own daily life. So like, for instance, if I had a, a small child of my own, uh, you know, they'd be around my cat a lot. So they would know this cat, and I could even name it Bella or uh, whatever the scenario would be, and then they'll understand that intuitively to be Bella, and when they get a little older and can reproduce this themselves, they, uh, you know, you'll find that your child has really retained a lot of this and is a lot quicker on the uptake of language. Uh, you can also do this for uh, any family member that you want to uh, add. Sister, brother is a good way to do that too. And uh, even better, the fact that it's from your own voice is uh, statistically better as well for language acquisition. It's a great thing. That's naturally how your child learns is uh, through voice recognition, and they, uh, you know, kind of absorb what they're told. So all in all, the developers have really created a knockout application here in terms of educational value. And again, at 99 cents, it's absolutely fantastic. So there you have it. That is essentially create my own flashcards. It's a wonderful little, little utility for the concerned parent who wants to teach their baby some uh, language skills right off the bat. Um, and again, at the 99 cent price tag, it is a value. I can't think of any reason why that would be a problem for anyone. And uh, with the ability to edit the cards, delete them at any point in time, you can go back and change them at will, which is just fantastic. And you can create entirely new customized sets of uh, learning material. So all in all, 4 out of 5 star rating for Create My Own Flashcards, as well as a recommendation. It really is a solid app. So with that in mind, that's all we have to say about it. And at this point, I have nothing else to add. So we're going to go ahead and sign out. But I will see you guys later. Bye.